The Titanic was the largest and most luxurious ship in the world when it departed on April 10, 1912, on its maiden voyage from England to New York. At 270 meters long, 25 stories high and weighing 46,000 tons, she was the most significant vessel of the time. Four days later, the Titanic struck an iceberg, resulting in more than 1,500 deaths, with just over 700 surviving, mostly first-class passengers. The wreck on the ocean floor remained undetectable for decades until 1985. That's when a team of scientists led by oceanographer Robert Ballard managed to locate the world's most famous shipwreck some 3,800 meters below the surface of the North Atlantic. In September of that year, Robert wanted to try robotic submarines, a new type of technology that would be used to search for sunken ships and submarines. Future expeditions discovered that the Titanic wasn't just breaking up, it had also broken into two pieces. A heavily damaged part of the hull on the starboard side of the bow provided evidence that the collision with an iceberg was very violent. The discovery that the Titanic was in pieces made recovery impossible. Still, news of the ship's condition hasn't stopped adventurous minds from finding ways to bring her back. Many people proposed inflating large balloons under the ship, which would help lift it to the surface. However, the problem was that the balloons had to be inflated in a pattern that would cause them to rise at the correct speed. This is because an extreme change in pressure would lead to the total disintegration of the ship. Imagine that you are at sea level. You feel all the weight of the air above your head. This value is equivalent to one atmosphere. But at sea, things change. Every 10 meters of water, this weight doubles. And since the Titanic is 3,800 meters deep, it is subject to 380 times the weight of the atmosphere. This, for so many years, left the carcass very fragile. The most successful operation took place in 1998, when a company managed to lift a 20-ton section of the hull in a few meters. The team also brought back nearly 5,000 artifacts, including jewelry, toys, dishes, and equipment. So far, rescue expeditions have been unable to recover anything larger than a slab of the hull that is now part of an exhibit. What's more, oceanographers say the sea's harsh environment wreaked havoc on the ship's remains after more than a century below the surface. The acidity of the salt water has been dissolving the vessel, compromising its integrity to the point that much of it falls apart if it is moved. The microbes that caused rusty stalactites to grow on much of the Titanic also corroded and further weakened the structure. Inside, the situation is just as bad, with decks collapsing on every level of the ship. Passages previously accessible to robotic mini-submarines have been plugged and cabin compartments have deteriorated over time. And things are getting worse. In 2016, scientists discovered an extremophile organism that has been more aggressive in destroying what's left of the Titanic, leading some to conclude that the entire ship will be dissolved by 2030. With salvage out of the question, further concerns have been raised about what to do with parts of the vessel that can still be salvaged. 
Preservationists argue that the vessel's slow decomposition makes it crucial to recover objects that were part of this tragic chapter in human history. Others say exposures and any other recovery attempts are looking for nothing more than profit. And there are some who insist that the Titanic must be treated like a tomb, and that the 1,500 souls must remain at the bottom of the sea. However, the researchers found no evidence of human remains after more than 200 dives had been made. Sea creatures would have taken advantage because protein is scarce in the depths of the ocean, and bones dissolve due to water chemistry. Other scientists, on the other hand, suggest that there may still be remains in interior places, difficult to access and with low oxygen concentration. Debate aside, before the Titanic finally disappears, one option is to see the wreck for yourself via an expedition company if you have $100,000 to spare. Do you think they should try to recover more parts of the ship, or should space be respected? Tell in the comments. Did you like this content? Like our video, share it with friends and relatives. Follow our channel and turn on notifications to stay on top of more content like this. Until the next video.